Hello, welcome to Let's Play Dark Souls Part 44. Picking up right where we left off as usual. This time I even went ahead and transformed back to a barrel. Um, now that being said, it's not exactly where we left off because right off the bat, as you can tell, my outfit's a little different. Um, going for some some sort of of a priest look, I guess you could say. I mean, I've never seen a priest just like this, but we have Havel's legs, and he was a bishop, so close enough, I guess. And then. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Just trying to mix it up, guys. Um, I'm going for the priest look because I'm actually going to try to showcase some miracles for you guys today. Uh, so I have to put on a chameleon just so I can turn into the barrel. But um, let's actually use... Um, let's try Seek Guidance. Uh, I want to kind of demonstrate that. We also have Lightning Spear and then uh, the Emit Force to uh, get just a little bit more offensive options. Uh, but otherwise, things are the same. Um... Now, I did run down back to Firelink between episodes to uh, actually join with the Way of White, which is the current covenant that we're in. That's because I want to um, I want to increase the chances to getting summoned here <laughs> to as high as possible. And the way that covenant works is that it basically makes it easier for you to connect with other people in the covenant. Uh, something like that. I never actually really used it myself, so I can't say for sure, but from what I looked up... Um, that's basically how it works, so we'll see. Um, so with that being said, seek guidance. I believe that that'll just cause more messages to show up. So uh, I did it. I really. um, should actually probably equip my orange soapstone because you actually need that to uh, read the messages, right? So you go up to it, and then um, when you sorry, when you read the message, then there should be a way to read this somehow. All right, let me just. Clean up these guys. Uh, we're still light rolling, as you see, which is very surprising with Havel's legs, but um, the rest of our armor is basically non existent, so. Uh, I'm also gonna throw down my white stone here. Uh, right here is a common spot. Right outside the bonfire in Undead Bird, you'll get a lot of action. At least I know in a normal playthrough. Um, like I said, New Game Plus can be a little sparse sometimes, but. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, let me just try to rate this because I swear there's a way to uh, rate these messages. Um, okay, I'm gonna look this up between episodes and we'll rate a message next time. Um, either way, today I want to actually uh, push pretty far ahead. So we got our sign here. That's gonna just be in the background. Hopefully we get summoned. If not, um, I'll think of something. <laughs> so we are... I'm going to try to make my way to Andre today. I think we can get there. As long as we don't dilly daddle too much. Um, right, so in terms of dilly daddle, right? So, I, as you saw, I didn't just go into that room just there because I know that there's just a black fire bomb in there. We don't really need that. And I do want to clean up these guys because I might have to fight the Black Knight here. Okay. And I believe this was, yeah, still just a lost hole. So, I think I'm going to ignore most loot, to be honest. Like, it's not even worth grabbing the pine resin, because we can't enhance our sword. But some things might be worth grabbing. But we definitely want to kill him, because he'll still ambush us. And as you can tell, like, even though it's new game plus, and we're all end game, we are still relatively squishy. Just because of our lack of armor at this point. But as long as we bob and weave properly, we should be fine. Okay, so let's see how this goes. This could um, potentially be ugly. It's uh, it's doing my lightning spear. Okay, that's something. It's probably all the ones we're gonna get off at this point. Oh boy, that was close. Okay, we uh did a number on him so far at least. Too bad. Uh, this might finish it actually. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I didn't even have to lower him back up. Okay, chunk for our troubles. And I do think that the, uh, yeah, so the ring will be there again, but the thing with the rings is that the game doesn't even let you put on two of the same type. So there's absolutely no reason to go for it. Unless uh, we just want to take it for the souls to speed cramped, but. That's like, give me 50 souls, <laughs> so not really worth it. 
Uh, so I don't have the master key, so I can't go down there. Uh, we're just gonna go right to the boss. Oh uh, no, I lied. We're actually gonna kill the crystal lizard first. And get those, which we'll probably use to upgrade some armor at some point. But uh, yeah, someone signed us here. Okay, so this is where it's finally time to uh, do some things challenging. So how about we leave the archers alive this time? Let's see how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll not even do the plunging effect. So I've never tried fighting like this before. Alright, not going too bad so far. Okay, this is uh, actually dangerous. <laughs> and I'm dead. Alright, well. <laughs> now the question is do I keep trying with the archers? Alright, um, I didn't kill anyone, I'm just running and they're all probably still chasing me. And I also realized I'm only not going to have too much Estus <laughs> for this fight. And so I did not kindle the bonfire. Alright, let's see how this goes. I think as long as uh, I don't get hit by him, I should be fine. I think we just gotta be mindful of the arrows and make sure we don't do things when we could get hit. See, this is when it could be dangerous when you're like panicking and struggling to try to heal. Alright, but we're uh, making progress. Oh no, I think I survived and then the arrow came up there. Oh boy, yeah, this is, uh, I think there's gonna be a lot of deaths in New Game Plus as I've tortured myself with these challenges here. Okay. Third time's the charm, as always, right? I think the worst, I gotta really make sure that if I'm doing these challenges, that. I don't just like give up and then like resort to killing the archers. I feel like that would look way worse. Okay. Ooh, nice. We got a stagger. Let's just go for damage here. I think the quicker we kill them, the less chances it's gonna have to kill us here. And one more. Oh, I missed. Yeah, okay. There we go. Alright, that wasn't too bad. We actually did get it on the third try for once. Got our souls. Um, would go kill them, but there's really no need. Alright, so, uh, we're still making good time. 15,000 souls, very nice. I'm still not even close to leveling up, though, which really does suck. Alright, let's just quickly activate him. Okay, uh, we'll go talk to Solaire down here. Hello. You don't look hollow. Far from it. I actually do. I am now So again, we've already talked with him, so we know what he says. Like, oh yeah, we're mingling world, time is oh. convoluted. He wants his own son. Oh. Oh, actually, so he already gave us the white sign, soapstone, so technically a lot of his dialogue we're not gonna get, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, this is still gonna be the same. Um oh, do I fight the dragon right now? <laughs> oh god. Do I wanna put myself through that? Tell you what, um, I'm gonna get the ladder at least, and then um, I think I will try to kill the dragon. Uh, this is something <laughs> God, that I've—I don't think I, I know I've never even done it. I know I've tried a few times, but it's got some really crazy fire attacks <laughs> that you got to be on the lookout for. So anyway, lowering him down is the same. Just sort of stand there until. Decides to come down. Um, ooh, that's right. We have lightning spear. So maybe that'll help. Because, <laughs> you know, lightning is supposed to be good against dragons, guys. So you want to come down? I guess not. You know, I'm not going to miss it. I know lightning spear is not going to do anything. Come on. Don't you want to fight? 
Come down, come down. This could be one of the hardest enemies in the game in a lot of ways. Unlike pretty much every other enemy, he's designed as more of an obstacle than as an actual fight. Okay, so as long as he doesn't do fire stuff, kind of fine. Oh, and this is fire stuff. Oh, it's not, no, it's not. That is, though. Okay, it's going not too bad. Oh, he's got a lot of health. I think we gotta be careful there when he flies up. Yeah. Okay, we can come down here. So maybe just fight him around here and you're good. Oh, God. Yeah, don't worry, the graphics will come right through, but the actual hitbox is way up there. Uh, alright, never mind, I was wrong. <laughs> you can get hit. Okay, I actually have too much more SS, so... I have to be careful here. Ah. Wow, okay. <laughs> this could, uh... Tell you what, I, um... I have a better idea. How about we go and kindle the bonfire down below and try this again? Because this is... Definitely not going to work with only one less. This we did like a quarter damage at most. Reverse okay, hollowing and kindle as always. Still need 20,000 souls to level up, I think. Uh, and yes, kindle. And I don't think we have the right of kindling anymore. In fact, I'm pretty sure we don't. So uh, we're stuck with 10 for now, but that's going to be fine. Uh, we're actually going to have it fairly soon. Um, not like this episode soon, but we're definitely not going to be doing things in the exact same order. I know we're like working our way back up to Andre right away, like the original, but um, that's just for now. Once once we get there, things will start to look a little different. Okay, so same thing again. We're just going to lower him down first and then try to fight him. Come on. Since this is so time consuming, I'm only going to give myself one chance for this for now. And if I don't get it, then um, we'll sort of come back another time. Alright, well that settles that. <laughs> this is what I mean. He's one of the hardest bosses to fight. Um, because you just you think you're doing good making progress and then boom you get one shot you know, like to be fair if i've had some better armor i could probably survive at least one hit but then we're slow and then it's probably still gonna kill me anyway and doing this in new game plus is definitely not helping though um so we do still want to lure him down but this time we're just going to run. <laughs> we get 2,700 souls in New Game Plus. That normally only gives like 800 or so. So I guess you get three times as many souls. That's that's really good, actually. I could be wrong, though. Alright. Grab souls, and let's get out of here. Um, grab another Claymore, because why not? I won't kill him again for his tail. Or get his tail, not kill him. Kill him again would mean I killed him at all. <laughs> Uh, no need to get a second Drake Sword, since we can't, like, you know, like, a second Claymore we can customize and do things with, but a, uh, second sword is nothing. <laughs> Just, uh, let's see. Ooh, we can actually pray here, because it does remember that, um, I did do one co-op back in the original, like I said, just to join this covenant, but, um, yes, let's do this. Let's get the Warriors of Sunlight. I prefer that over Way of Void, for sure. And there we go, covenant established. Awesome. Okay. So I think I rested. No, I did not rest at the bonfire. Did I? I might have. Okay, either way, we're going this way. So let's pull the lever. Uh, I'll throw down another summon sign once we're out of the gate here. Um, put it right here. Hopefully, someone sees it now that we're glowing orange at the sun. Uh, we do have a black knight to kill. Um, we'll see how smoothly this goes. This is the first New Game Plus Ultra Great Sword. Okay, 
Ow, ow. Oh, I got stomached. <laughs> oh, there's gonna be a lot of death. There's gonna be a lot of death in New Game Plus. Uh, well, we're so close by that I don't even know if it's worth cutting. <laughs> and it does remove our sign. Let's put the sign down after we kill him. It's probably the smart move. Okay, so I think. Oh, that was that was mean. Oh no, oh, that, that's literally what happened back in the original playthrough. And I didn't learn my lesson. Okay, so we gotta kill that guy first. Otherwise he's gonna come up and just ruin everything. Man, as soon as I saw him, I literally just got the flashback. Okay, okay. Him. And yeah, the worst is when you're working way up, if he hears you first or something and then just has an attack ready and just slams down on your head before you can even react. Okay, this is uh, working so far. Ooh. He could have followed that up with a combo and got this. Okay, almost got him. Oh, there we go. All right. Nice. And just a chunk for our trouble. And some souls. And the, you know, accomplishment of beating the Black Knight. Okay. So, I think we can, I think we're still on track to get to Andre. Um, let's see. Now, I would rush over there, but we actually do have to make our way down. Um, either way, I do want to come up here and, oh, take out the archers as soon as possible. What? That just went through him? Okay, well, as long as I didn't die. <laughs> okay with it. Oh, okay. Where's the boar? Way over there. Alright, so, um, how about we fight him? Chip as well. Although, I mean, honestly, like, I could just cheese him here. Alright, come on, come on out. Let's fight. For real. And I don't know if he gets more defense, like if you hit him in his front versus back, but it doesn't look like it. Oh, oh let's try to backstab him. <laughs> yeah. I like a dead. So, that's the boar. Um, if you notice too, that boar specifically, he has like a hole around his tail. The ones in the Duke archives, they actually have that spot armored up, so um, you cannot get backstabs on them, which is very unfortunate. Okay, this ambush. Coming down this way because we also need the key to get the trick. And I do want to show you a trick with him. That will probably be for next episode. Okay, so here's his key. And we're actually close to leveling up. Which is very nice. Um, I should probably be using more miracles, I just realized. The problem is that, like, you know... Most of these enemies are right on top of me. At that point, it's like, why would I not just hit him with my sword? <laughs> hey, a lot of bells going off. A lot of players are killing their gargoyles, which is very good to hear. Okay. Um, got this guy over here. And get the counter hit on me. Wow, yeah, they got a lot of health. <laughs> I think the farthest I've gotten in New Game Plus was just past the Capper Demon, so oh, so we this. Okay, he's coming up on me. Oh, boy. just barely recovered stamina to roll there. Ooh, good dodge, good dodge. Right, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> A little slow on the dodge there. Oh boy! Ah! did hit me and then catch me with the backstab right away. 
Oh my god. The worst part is, the thing I'm most angry about there is that you saw that we killed the enemy, but, and that he had an item, and I don't think we're gonna get that back. And the thing with the Balder Knights is that they drop a sword that's really cool that we want. Dang, and I thought, okay, so to explain what happened there, where that guy even came from. Uh, oh boy, this could be risky. I'm kind of just wanting to run past. Hoping I don't die over to this. Right. Once we get to the ladder, I think we'll be fine. Okay, but um, yeah, they dropped their special sword, and there's a chance that that was it. And now we lost it because of what we just witnessed. <laughs> Dang, this is a uh, so this is a new game plus, guys. As you can see, I've died like I don't even know how many times this episode so far. Um, okay, so what happened was this guy over here, he actually hurt us fighting. We must have hit the wall or something. And then he came back around to finish us off. Because that's where we were, right there. Yeah, the enemy... They they, <laughs> they designed the enemies in this game to for situations like that to just happen. Which is uh, cool and also annoying at the same time. But it'll be fine. As long as we don't <laughs> mess up collecting our souls here. We'll be fine. Nope, okay, we're good. Hey, and we got someone chasing me. Ah! I don't know, you would come all the way. Okay, uh, let's go this way and open the gate and get the key. Yeah, take him out over there. Okay, basement key, very nice. Put lever. Um, yep, then he's gonna chase me. Uh, there's another halberd, but I don't think I'm gonna grab that. Okay, very nice. Hold the leggings. Dang, see, the problem is I know for sure what he dropped was probably just a Titanite shard, but... Um, the rape, their, their side sword is what it's called, the Balder side sword. If I... Uh, you can get your hands on that. Like, I would showcase that. That's how good that weapon is, because it's basically just a longer long sword that also does more damage even just like good in all the ways and just longsword weapons in general are some of the best in the game actually when you're when you're going for like actual like practical usage i know in dark souls 3 they are i don't know for sure in dark souls i know nothing about dark souls 1 pvp <laughs> basics of like hitting people but and not getting hit but i don't know like what the optimal builds are and all that stuff Plus, in general, like, at least compared to Dark Souls 3, the networking on Dark Souls is not that good. Like, you'll, you'll, all, like, you'll just be squaring off with someone, and then all of a sudden, the next frame, they are just backstabbing you. <laughs> like, a lot of that. So, I don't do too much PvP in this game, but I do want to show some for you guys. Uh, so, we're going to level up here. Keep getting faith up. And we still need four more points to get to Wrath of the Gods. So let's go say hi to Andre and then wrap this up, I think. Well, I'm and yeah, he's just going to tell us the same usual stuff. So I'm learning the gestures again. I don't think you have to do this because I already have them, but nothing seems to happen if you do that. Um, so yeah, we don't really need anything from him right now. Okay, so um, at this point, um, what are we going to do? Um, we're actually going to go into Darker Guard next. Um, That's not exactly. Okay, that's like the next area we're going to do, but we do have a few more things I want to do in the parish here. Um, but yeah, we're going to call here. Uh, I think it's a good stopping point. We made it all the way to this bonfire, which is, uh, I think, compared to the original playthrough, right? Like, we're definitely going at a faster pace, right? Like, uh, I think it took two, maybe even three episodes to get from the uh, other last bonfire to this one. So that's good, right? It's, it's progress, right? Uh, honestly, the most stressful thing is going to be the PvP. <laughs> I mean, the Covenant stuff, because Dark Souls isn't exactly... Dark Souls Remastered, it's not exactly dead, but it's pretty sparse, especially at New Game Plus, so... And my attention span isn't too great, so... <laughs> Depending on how long it takes to find even a single anything, um, I may or may not be falling short in some of my Covenant promises. I'm really sorry, guys, but... All that... 
online stuff was always more of like icing on the cake. The real meat and potatoes of this playthrough was about showing the game, right? Like we, we went over all the quest stuff in New Game Plus. I mean, not New Game Plus, in the original, and now we're going to do all the extra stuff and challenges. So I hope that's enough to entertain you guys. Um, if not, well, uh, it's only not much I can do about it at that point. But um, I was going to be changing up the build, so next time, because this just looks really ugly. Glad we're past it. <laughs> but yeah, all in all, um, I'll stop rambling. I think that was a long rambling session. If you're still here, thanks for listening to me and my insanity. Um, either way, I'll see you next time. So, take care. <laughs>